Hey Virgo. Happy to happy January. I was like happy to now. <laughs> All right, it's cold today. I'm inside, of course, and I'm cozy, and I hope you don't mind. Um, welcome to the space, Virgo. So you are your 11th, okay? Um, <clears throat> you have to trust something, right? You really do need... Um, there's an importance of faith, right? There's an importance of faith. But it can't just be what you see. <clears throat> it's as equally important. <clears throat> and you trusting the feeling of something. Okay. I see that there's a lot of work to be done, but you have the strength to do it. I see that if you have any downtime <clears throat> from all the things that you're doing and expending energy on in this time, it is important for you to uh, sit with your own sit with your own feelings like have your spiritual practice pray right D don't all the things that you're doing 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 i see this is equally important it's probably 70 30 could be 80 20 most of you it's probably 90 10 because i heard you're, you're intense so um there's a lot of energy here right a lot of fire uh energy is pushing something so whatever your percentage of downtime is i see it's very important for you to not sort of do anything like specifically you know it's like you have to schedule a play date with yourself or like schedule schedule prayer schedule your uh and you taking, I think it is 80, 20, like 80%, you're always doing something, right? You're always, you're always working towards something. I see that that 20% is so very important for you to rejuvenate yourself. Okay. It's not a lot. I heard it's not a lot to ask. It's not even half, right? And if there's 24 hours in a day, and it's two hours every eight hours, if that would be your 20%, then that's six hours. Uh, why are we trying to be so technical here? Just relax, Virgo. Um, For some of you, you're still, you're still a bit hung up on something. Let me see why that is. Why is this? Oh, you're, um, If, okay, for those of you who are having money troubles, for some reason. Or you don't feel confident about that, or whatever the situation is, your penny pension, or something. Like you're stressing about it in some way. Then that's because there's some sort of mentality around money, around value, that needs to be reassessed by you communicating in a more compassionate way to yourself about 
how you see success in yourself, right? How you view success uh, and how that defines who you are in some kind of way. I see that the horse could help you in this time about that particular situation. Um, I also see it's very important to not have some, uh, no boohoo, like know what your risks are, right? Know what the challenges are. Know, know what the season is. It, know what you want to do with that, right? That's very important. I see the eclipse for you is a really big deal. Uh, there's a lot of them this year. It doesn't have to necessarily relate to this one, but there is one on the 10th. I see you'll start feeling it like on the 9th, like energetically pretty strong. So it's important for you to know what is already done, what is already over, and what is it that you want to create now? And remember that how you feel about it, right? Uh, And the way that you feel about what you like what you've been granted from the creator to be able to create in this world makes such a difference right um we're never without god god never the creator never it, it's a creator it's always creating it's always op creating opportunities creating uh, inspiration creating pa like passion and creating art and creating beauty and creating whatever whatever we can but w all these things are available to us it's like you can go in a room and there's all these things and then you get to decide what do you want to do with all those things in that room right I do see that something is done and it is very important to uh, accept that. Uh, for most of you, this is something where it's old, okay? Um, maybe you, some of you thought something was going to be something, but now it's something a little bit different. But there's nothing wrong with that. That can be in itself inspirational, right? Ace of Swords. That's Look at all these beautiful eagles in... Uh, in crows it's like in hawks it's it's all the 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 perspective of it is so important and again this goes back to how you define yourself um what do you deem your life to be worth you being alive right and i heard it, and i see again what is it that you want to create in this life <clears throat> right I want some new energy, just a second. I actually have these two new decks, they're very exciting. I tried to, I'm trying to use the same cards for you that I did for Leo and Aquarius. They're so vibrant, but I feel like you want to go towards the darkness a little bit. You want the, you want a little bit more shadow, shadow cards. Yeah, you do, cut it out. Um, there's nothing wrong with the shadow, right? I'm, I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is that <clears throat> whatever shadow worlds that you've had to walk through, Virgo, or even are dealing with now, any place where you feel like, oh, I can't do that, I don't know how to do that, uh, that'll never happen, oh, that'll happen later, or oh, that'll magically happen later without doing anything, it's like, of course you have to do things, and of course you have to release yourself from worry, Right. If you're worried about something or you feel like in this could be completely subconscious, right, which I know is a hard thing because like, how are you going to catch that? Right. It, it takes a lot of practice to be able to relate these different have these different parts of yourself communicate with yourself. Right. But it's completely possible to do. Because the mind is so, so powerful, but the, and therefore it is as equally creative as it is, it can be as equally creative as it can be destructive. 
uh, and I see that your thinking about things needs to be more in a positive place. Uh, I see again, what do you want to create? And a couple people had this energy too, where it's like, maybe it's because it's Capricorn time. There's shame and guilt and, and whatever. I should have, could have, would have done this. And if, what if that and blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of worry in there, right? But the thing is, is like, if you have faith, right, then, and you know who you are, you feel confident in that, right? Then, there is no worry about whatever the cycle is now and there's no because you've cleared out whatever it is in the past and figured out how to talk about it right how to have a conversation with other people with yourself with god right some of those conversations i'm sure were kind of hard right the, maybe there's some things that have panned out in a kind of way that like it's interesting it's kind of going in the past. Let's let's keep it more future focused here. Virgo, look at this card. She is beautiful. This person is beautiful. They are well dressed. They are <clears throat> loyal. They're dedicated. They're hard working, right? Totally, totally hard working. Yes, eight of pen three of pentacles, six of pentacles, the wheel. Justice. You know, what? whatever you're doing right now takes great, whatever you're doing right now is very, is technical, <clears throat> right? And it takes a lot of focus. So, realize where you're and how you're expending your energy and your time right and this goes back to if you have a hundred percent of your day maybe you really break it down like how much do you sleep a day right there's 24 hours in a day so they say 24 hours in a day it makes more sense to have 12 right because there's 12 zodiacs but 24 hours in a day you sleep x amount right say for instance you sleep eight so you have 16 hours left you probably work you know eight hours of that day so you have eight hours left you have to eat you have to shower you have to clean stuff whatever uh so figure out you need to figure out some sort of balance about that so that you feel good in where you are and you feel confident in the fact of instead of you being too concerned about like oh wait this isn't in order you already have it all in order you don't have a good harvest if you don't know what what happened last you it's harder to have a good harvest this year if you don't know what happened last year so I see it's very important what did you learn last year what did you do last year how much money did you spend last year what did you spend it on right um how much money did you save <clears throat> of course there are things that that come into the the picture that that cause different decisions to be had, but the, those I see that in truth those are very very positive. Um, so please be positive, Virgo. You need to save your money for big stuff. Okay, right now. Don't spend it on little frivolous things. Do not. That is uh, your, your, if you do that, <clears throat> if you do that, if you're, if you're just being, it, you're losing, you're missing the lesson if you're spending money on unnecessary things at this point in time. I mean, it makes sense in Capricorn season that you're, that everyone's like, watch your budget, right? Because we're just in Jupiter. It's big, it's expansive, right? We're, we're functioning from this sort of space that that isn't even really conscious um so because it's important for you to pay attention to the big goal right the big goal is where it's at i see mo any of you who drink uh should not it's not good for you causes problems in your relationships hardcore um any kind of uh substance abuse any kind of uh, 
issues with control also cause cause issues in relationships so i see that it's important um you can't control anybody else or how they work but you can control how you work and what you do with your time so be very aware of that virgo let's see here let's get rid of this eight of swords eh there we go six of cups what do you love virgo who loves you what are you happy about what are you excited about for this new year? What do you want in six months? What's your six month goal? And I want you to start talking about that very positively. Right? And I want you to know that whatever it is that you're kind of scared about right now, or you're a little bit sad about, You'll work your way through that, and you'll find this grounded place. Some of you really could be, for some of you, this is, if you're concerned about money, we have to realize that that all relates back to, to how you define your own value, right? And, um, and how much you think that it is that you need. Right? Maybe you ought to think about that. What do you need? And how are your needs, especially emotional needs, communicated? Because the emotional world is absolutely uh, related to what we receive. Right? And what we create in this life. Let's see about this King of Wands because I know that you you have you have a fire in your belly. All of you, uh, they can say that you're represented by the monk, and yes, in one way you are. But you are a spitfire. Every Virgo I've ever known is wild, you know. And in a, in a way, you're also kind of risky, you know. Like sometimes you do things. It's out of the ordinary, like Libra, in a way. But um, you're a little bit risky. But the point is, is that sometimes. What do they say? If you don't risk anything, right, uh, Magician Two of Pentacles, if you don't risk anything, then you don't gain anything. But you have to figure you have to figure out that balance of like, okay, if I do risk this, well then, if I do this situation and there's a possibility of yeses and nos, okay, well, what if I say yes to this, well, what could possibly be the outcome? If I say no to that, well, what opportunities does this give me? Right? If I, again... It, it's, it's important to look at it from two different perspectives. I like that the King of Wands is with the Magician. It shows me that you have great ideas right now, that you're an extremely creative person. You have a very extreme, like, extremely creative mind, and that it's an odd sound. But I think that for some of you, um, you have to you need to focus on one thing uh, you need to put your priorities in order i guess is the point emperor absolutely and when i said that my whole head got all tingly right use your higher mind yes yes ace of cups in the queen of pentacles use your higher mind and remember that again your emotional well-being determines your physical world right how you talk about how you feel uh is directly related to your faith which brings you stability right and so i see because we were asking specifically about creativity and what you're going to create i see uh i see gemini and i see aries are very important um I see it's very important for you to love yourself and stop having a battle about that. Try to stop having a battle about that. For those of you that are still wondering if you're worth something, of course you are. Um, 
let me see. This Five of Swords came out before. What's this about? Because that's a it's an annoying card, right? There's an annoyance. The world. So whatever the annoyance is, I guess this is another thing. If something's annoying, but it doesn't actually affect you emotionally, right? Because you're super stable in that. Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. It's like completely, you're solid about who you are and how you feel and your faith again in God and the creator and your opportunities to create in this life. Then that little bullshit isn't nothing to you. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't, it doesn't shake you. Right? I mean, every situation is, is a way to learn. So I see also, don't let your confidence be shaken. Okay? Chariot. Please do not let your confidence be shaken as you move along. Okay? Virgo, what do we got for time? Let's do one more card. Let's do the bright, shiny cards. The vibrant cards for you, Virgo. Let's do one last one. Virgo. The Virgin. The Vestal Virgin. Okay, Virgo. Where is it? That one. Oh, we have two. Perfect. Temperance in the Six of Wands. Yes, friggin' please. This is a blatant, bold expression that if you believe, that if, okay, for instance, if you have learned, let's say this past Gregorian year, that whatever you learned about the things that happened that were out of your control, then there's nothing that can stop you from succeeding. And if anything, you're in a very magical place to be able to do something alchemically inside of yourself so that you <clears throat> can balance more about the pieces that you're trying to put together in yourself right put back together maybe some of you are doing some sort of like soul retrieval or you're again whatever you're trying to create in this life right but i see it again in yourself right and also remembering that anything is possible yes with with appropriate with you have to have confidence right you have to put in the energy and the effort and have a direction and be responsible about it right and know your lessons but also that some seeds need longer for germinating some pop up really fast right and uh some need a lot of light some don't need as much it's important to know what you're growing and what what that means and when what season you're trying to plant in because every seed has a particular season that is appropriate to it. Right, Virgo? I mean, goodness gracious, the Ace of Pentacles, the Temperance and the Six of Wands, High Priestess and the Four of Wands at the bottom. I don't I don't see that there's an issue. There's only an issue if you're if you're bumming about it. Okay? There's only an issue you what did my friend Jan Van Dam say? There's only a problem There's only a problem when it becomes a problem only becomes a problem when it's a problem. Don't make something a problem that isn't a problem yet. Right? see the op again see the opportunity in where you're at and what can you do now and what is it that whatever it is that you cannot do now for some reason or another again what did you learn from the experience of having something that's out of your control say the seasons right or that seed that was a dud so what 
No big deal. Moving along. Do, 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 do. Moving along. That guy's awesome. Look at his face. These cards are beautiful. Right? Oh, there's a horsey, too. The horse is helpful. Okay. Virgo. That was powerful reading. I liked it. All right. I love you so much. Happy now, Virgo. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Anyone who's still here, what time is it? Let me see. 25.33. Um, really, though, it's uh, it's actually Opal Oracle's three-year anniversary, which is pretty fascinating, right? Uh, because it wouldn't... I mean, I guess it could still exist even if no one else was no one was here like participating but because you are thank you you know that makes it grow and and there's a reason that we all are here especially if you're still listening to this you know and i want you to feel good about that and i want you to feel confident about where you're at and i and i want you to check out the seeds that you have and check out what's already growing and check out where it is that you need to weed a little bit or spread it out right um and to know that the harvest will be good right right speaking of seasons actually i wanted to mention one last thing so i made a patreon page for those of you who didn't know the links in the box um feel free to check it out if you please uh i did i did these uh three month forecast from Yule to Ostara, which I guess is the only way technically to talk about these timelines through the year. It, it usually it's fascinating too, I didn't realize, but it goes from the 21st um, and then we go to the first and then the 21st and then the first. It's really, really fascinating. Um, there's the method on this, this structure all through the year. So basically, December 21st to March 21st, I did these three month spans and they're interesting. I tried something new, so feel free to check it out. And of course, anyone who's already over there, thanks. It's a, it's a really, it's a cool space. It's starting to expand a little bit, which I like, right? Slow. I planted it in autumn where I am. So it's kind of like the garlic's under the ground, like settling itself in, but you know, that'll take, it'll take a while to grow, but like, I'm cool with it. Right? I'm not going to be like, oh my god, i got to wait till spring for my garlic to grow. It's like, no, it's exciting. It's in the ground. I know it's there. So, anyway, check it out. Take care of yourself. And please realize all the hard work that you've put in to life and your relationships and your family and yourself. You know what I mean? You really are balancing something out in your heart that, that is deep, you know? So be grateful for that. Love, love your family. Love, love your friends. Love who it is that's in your life that you would consider family, right? Be excited for that. Be excited for that. And I see again that you should really put things, put, put your priorities in order, like, Again, what are the things that you are doing, like the projects that you have going on now, the things that you have to attend to now, what is it that you would like to attend to in the future? All right, say six months down the line, what are you, what are you looking at here? Um, and then realize what can sort of go on the back burner or what needs a little bit more attention. If you take up that responsibility, even though it's sort of like you don't get to do what you want to do in a kind of way, it's very important to do the need before the want. We're in Capricorn season. The need before the want is necessary, right? Like I said with the garlic, I 
if I didn't, if you don't plant the garlic, I could plant the garlic later, but I could do it now. And if I do that now, then I don't have to worry about it later. Right? Virgo. I love you. Yeah, six of wands and eight, ace of friggin' pentacles. I love you. Yeah, love yourself. Love your life. I'll talk to you later. Peace.